Welcome to the service clinic at Low Country Harley Davidson. I'm Doc Harley. I've had a few inquiries through email and messaging. You guys want to know my thoughts on purchasing a reusable oil filter versus the OEM factory filter. All right. My first experience with a reusable oil filter was in 1998 when we were racing in the Pro Twin series with the Sportster and Buell. And when you're racing, especially at that time, we were bringing a Sportster to Daytona. Running a Sportster wide open three miles is like taking a donkey to the Kentucky Derby. It wasn't meant to be. But we wanted to know the condition of the motor every time we ran this race. And so we purchased a reusable oil filter. And a lot of you guys have done the research. It's a piece that can come apart and you have Instead of paper, you have metal, and you want it at least five microns, so it captures everything before it allows the oil to go through. Now, I can't tell you if this was a motorcycle one. I believe it was an automotive one, and that's my concern with you guys out there looking for the best buy for the buck. You'll find automotive ones, and they are not designed for Harley-Davidson's for a couple of reasons. One, is the micron small enough? Two, is it fit in the sizing of where this oil filter goes? And three, there is a pop-off valve, all right, inside here, inside. And so if the filter should get clogged, that this pop-off valve releases and allows oil to still get into your motor so your motor doesn't go dry and beat up. So it's my concern, reusable oil filters, all right, are they designed for a Harley-Davidson oil pressure? for Harley-Davidson location. That's my biggest concern with the use of these. And there are several different kinds. This was another one that came in uh, on one of our motorcycles and designed really well. I mean, it's got very fine micron and it has a relief valve that will pop, but it's pretty stiff. I don't know what the pressure would be before it would pop off and allow oil to continue. Um, and it had a spring inside so it would go back in and it goes together pretty good but here brings up the next issue of a reusable oil filter is on this unit you have this rubber here on this unit here you have rubber here and here these wear okay so if you buy it from a manufacturer and the manufacturer goes out of business where are you going to find these O-rings to reseal up and they're going to be jeopardized or used all the time because you're screwing this on and off, on and off, and you know these get wear just from screwing on and off, on and off. So be careful on where you buy it and how many seals are part of. Now this one was just one, this one had two, and that's a concern to me. The other part of using a reusable oil filter is it's messy. You, you Okay, let's just say you leave this on the bike. You gotta take this off, the oil's going down, you're pulling this out, you're you gotta clean this all up, and you gotta clean it very well, because you don't want whatever you clean to go in and then you put it all back together again, so this, this can get really messy. The third thing that concerns me is, is some of you do your own oil filter changes. Okay, and some of you forget that this only goes on and then a quarter of a turn, maybe half at the most, some of you are using a wrench. This won't come off easily. So what wrench are you going to use on your beautiful chrome oil filters to get them off? You know, we use Harley-Davidson wrench, and then if it really gets bad, we use different means to get the oil filter off. What are you gonna use for this when it gets stuck on your bike? Putting a big claw on this will ruin the chrome, and then that's the look of your bike. The last point that I'll bring up, that's my opinion. When we were racing, we wanted to inspect. We wanted to see what was going on in the motor. Do you really want to see what's going on in your motor? Um, this can drive you nuts because we are dealing with an air-cooled motor that needs oil between pieces of metal. And you know starting a motorcycle is the hardest part because the oil has to get up to the top end and all that. So you're going to get little particles 
of metal. You're going to get some bronze, some brass, some maybe a little um, aluminum in your screen. And you look at this and you go, oh, my motor's falling apart. No, it's just normally wearing. Peace of mind is change this every 3,000 miles. And if you really are concerned about what's going on in your motorcycle, buy an oil filter cutter. All right, then you're just purchasing this. And if you get this wild, cold December night that you want to see what's going on, you can cut it open, look at the same type of filtration in, in this, and take a look what's going on. These are my thoughts and process of these. Yes, you can purchase these. I believe the theory in making these was so you could examine what's going on and also save you money in the long run. That's a choice you're going to have to make. But these are my thoughts. I like purchasing what was made for my Harley Davidson with the valve that was made for Harley Davidson, fits where it's supposed to on the Harley Davidson, and I can replace this every 3,000 miles. But it's your choice. Just wanted to answer the questions that have come in emails. Thank you so much for the questions that you send me. It fuels my ideas for these videos, so keep them coming. I'm Doc Harley. We'll see you next week.